Hey, so today I want to quickly walk through a demo of our black box AI technology and show you exactly how our custom trained AI models are able to omnidirectionally represent your brand, handling things like customer inquiries, uh, interested prospects, pre-qualifying processes, and even booking calls or tracking orders or checking backend systems, whatever it needs to be. Uh, and doing so across numerous channels, right? So we're able to do this across our website, our email, our SMS, and our social media channels, meaning that anyone can reach us anywhere, any time of the day, seven days a week, and they're able to get an answer and get helped effectively without having to worry about scaling giant teams horizontally, working people ridiculous hours to do 24-7 help, or anything like that while giving better responses because it's all custom trained to know your entire company and be an expert across all of the facets that you have and know exactly what it needs to tell the customers on a personalized level. So jumping into it, I have it over here on the website. I'm gonna show you how it works across a couple other channels as well as so you can see it for in other aspects, but uh, the easiest way is just kind of show you what's going on over here. So I had something up already, but you can see when I start a new chat, Hey, welcome to Blackbox. I'm your AI virtual assistant. How can I help you today? Of course, that's something you can edit. And that's something we've put in. Um, and so I prepared this over here so you can understand what's actually going on behind what we've programmed and trained for the AI model. So here you can understand what's plugging into all of this. We're plugging in PDFs, documents, websites, external links that are important, dynamic databases, if that's what we need to check, like inventory or calendars or whatever that may be for your actual business. And then as I mentioned, like some other links, um, like the actual calendars, if you need, like if it's actually going to book it in with custom API calls and it's going into your Calendly or your CRM or something like that. And then custom integrations of wherever that else may be, like, um, like dropping the information back into a CRM or tracking orders or looking into something that's connected to uh, like different housing, let's say for a lot of like different markets where you're checking real things or you're doing calculations and you're submitting that information, relaying it back. That may be something as well. We're getting like estimates and things. So that's what's going into the system. That's what we trained ours on as well. And we have an entire like centralized basically database where we store all the information and train the model and update regularly and make sure it's dynamic where it needs to be if it's constantly changing. And then these are kind of the three intents that we have in our particular system that I'm exemplifying today. So at the base, we have a starting one. This is where we're kind of jumping into things. And then we have our follow up and I'll book a call and I'll show you how those work very easily in a few minutes. But just for the context, you can see like, this is what we trained to start off. So we trained it to introduce itself and offer your help and guide them on their journey. So what you're gonna see is us choosing, hey, welcome to Black Box. I'm your AI virtual assistant. How can I help you today? And then it's going to capture response and choose if it needs to go back to the database and use its custom trained AI model to dynamically answer you using the LLM, or if it triggers another intent that it may take you the other direction, right? And underlying all of this is us kind of teaching the AI model that it should be pushing for a call, but it should never actually be constantly asking you. It should be organic and natural and conversational. So coming back over here, we're just gonna say, so how can black box even help my brand, right? It's probably gonna bring, bring back a decently long piece where we give a ton of information on exactly how we can help you and where we can do it. So we help your brand developing custom trained conversational AI chatbots that become complete experts on your business. These chatbots can be plugged directly into your website, email, SMS, and social media messages to seamlessly help potential and existing customers 24 seven on autopilot. So I didn't even need to give you the intro. I could have done it right here, right? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm saying, so are you saying that I can use it across all of my channels? I should also mention, because I'm terrible at typing and most people can't type three words correctly in a row, I know I can't, um, that we also account for autocorrect. So we are considering when people are typing things a little wrong or using prefixes or slang um, because we're teaching our model that that's okay too and it should still interpret it. Uh, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to do my best to actually type correctly. <laughs> and so that's great. And I'm gonna say, awesome. I would like to book a call. So it's just started the actual intent tracking for, okay, they wanna book a call. So the point of this is we've taken it, we asked a few questions, we got our answers well. Then we said, okay, I'm interested now and I wanna book a call. So exactly what happened there behind the scenes was we've trained an intent for book a call pathway. And we've taken thousands of terms that are custom said for our business and in general that most 
similarly represented and taught the model that this is kind of what it looks for. So it doesn't have to actually be any one of those thousands of terms. It could be something very similar. And because the AI model understands roughly what it's looking for to understand the meaning behind those sentences, it can get an idea. And so exactly what happened when I said, I'm gonna book a call. It said, okay, this person wants to book a call, take them down to the intent path. And so we've trained it to take it down a different route where we're going to do something else. And what we've told it to do is we've trained the AI model on the back end to carry out a conversational experience where it's going to strategically start grabbing entities and storing the instance-based information in the back end. And what that really means is me specifically, and in terms of this website, it means my cookies, my represent, my person, right? And who I am is a particular unique instance. And now it's going to begin tracking the information specifically to me and then locking it in the back end of its own system. And so the things that it should be getting from me in our particular system is my first name and my last name. It's going to be the whole name there. My email, my company type, and good times to speak. And so now we're going to walk through that quickly and you're going to see how it works. And then I'll show you what happens next. And something important to note here, which I'll show you in a minute, is we're actually using natural language processing and understanding at every step to analytically process the meaning behind the responses. So one of the easy examples that I put here that I normally tell people is like a tell sign that it's a low quality bot or it's not really using natural language processing at all, is that when you see something like it's asking for a name and it has a very custom locked field where you can only answer your name instead of having a conversation with them, one, it removes people from thinking that you might be speaking to a human and it completely destroys the experience because now you're talking to a robot. But two, oftentimes it's genuinely just recording that field, which means it's not running AI under that. And so when I say, when it says, what's a good name, right? And I'll show you here. For us, because we're running AI at every level, I can say, my name is Scott. My brother's name is Daniel. And my fish is called uh, Larry, right? For us, it's analyzing mine, right? So I just said three names here. I said three names entirely, and I said one long sentence. So it either could have said thanks and return the exact long sentence because it wasn't running any natural language processing, or two, it may just have not understood the meaning of mine because it wasn't running it correctly and chosen one of the other names because there's three names. So if you just trained it on what names are, it would be very confused right now. But instead, we're running AI models that are actually processing the information you're saying at every single step. And so it's only taking out my name and it returns, thanks, Scott, now can I get your email, right? And while this is happening, we just started logging it. It'll be logged at the end, but I want you to understand this is like a very simple way of how we'd be logging it into the database. And so at the end of this, you'll understand that this is going to log in. I just want you to see it empty so you know it's actually happening. So let's say my email, yeah, well, you can do mine, <laughs> uh, is blackbox.nexus. Um, let's actually do my email so you can understand that it works that way. My email is, it's from my company. So we've trained it similarly to start taking it out. So like I said, this is happening at every single step. Now, what type of business do you run? Let's say I run an architecture. Again, it's unfortunate that I can't spell, but I run an architecture firm. Uh, let's just leave it at that. And now it's gonna ask, what are some good times for the week? So I can say I can do 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. I have a soccer game afterwards, right? Awesome, right? Perfect. So it helped us, it's ready to ask questions again, it's completed that intent. So what's happened here with what I just mentioned was it, through a conversational experience, took all of these entities, right? Took the first name, last name, again, you could separate, you could grab as many things as you want, right? We've trained it to take whatever we give it. It's taken the email, company type, and good times. Now, in the back end, we said that. This is for the demo. So it's already logged. This is a first time person. This is the first time we communicated with them because I didn't exist in the system prior. Additionally, you can remember that we actually just said, my name is, we said a long sentence. What did it take? Just my name, right? We said, we said, <laughs> my email is, it's from my company, right? Put a bunch of details, took out exactly what I needed here. And then it categorizes just an architecture firm, just like it should have, 
took the times we could speak, didn't put the entire sentence, and then understood that it was for a demo call. So very clean experience. And now if I wanted to continue having questions in the meantime or getting referred to links, I could do that as well. So now we're going to come over here to Facebook and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like here. So I've just loaded up Facebook and I want you to understand what's happening. So I say, I said, get started just because that's how you have to start a conversation with pages on Facebook. And now I want to say, I would like to book a follow-up call. And so what's going to be happening when I type this and I will in just a sec is we come over here and Similarly, we've trained the follow-up call route to carry out this intent path if they say anything along the lines of wanting to book up a follow-up call. And so we trained it on thousands of terms and phrases related to this so it understands exactly what it should be looking for. And its rules are to carry out a conversational experience where we check for the email. So we're gonna grab the email, we're gonna to go to the back end of the system, and then we're gonna check if it exists. So we're gonna scan the entire database or whatever it is in your system, right? Whatever it may dynamically be. And then if we find it, we're going to scan that information and pull actually the first name back out and refer to them that way. So we're gonna confirm that you're the person, right? So a couple examples of where this may be applied is something like checking if you're already in the system, tracking an order or service and delivery, updating existing information such as delivery address. So we don't only have the ability to scan it, we can actually update it and change it. And then lastly, check locations that may be sold out of, like for example, some companies only work in certain area codes or work in certain locations and you need to know if you can actually reach them, if they're during office hours, are they open, things like that. And so we can check all that dynamically as well by checking the database and checking what makes sense. Uh, and so we should get back when we say it, we're going to confirm our email and see if it works, right? So back over here, whoops. I'd like to book a follow-up call. And then it's gonna ask for my email. So assuming I type it right, we're gonna say, that's my email. And now it asks that. So to remind you one more time, it's gone back to the database after I said that. It's checked and scanned the entire database if there were way more than just the only thing being this, right? It found that my email did exist here. And once it did, it scanned the other information additionally to that that were associated with this email and had a conversational approach of saying, so to confirm, you are Scott, right? So it took my first name from getting my email and dynamically did all of that to have this conversation. And so now I would say, yep, that's me. You don't have to be too formal. And so it says, what times are you free so we can schedule your second call, right? So this time around, it understands that it's there. And instead of grabbing all the information because it already knows it's there, it's just gonna ask for my follow-up information, get a new call, right? Which makes it way more easy, way more personalized and way more conversational. And while this is just a very simple example of what's happening here, and this is kind of an overview of the systems we've trained in place, you can understand that at a higher level, we continue to add complexities for different people. For example, we're looking, working with many brands that have large product inventory or service inventory. And so we're constantly referring them to different links, pages, resources, and offers. And a lot of them are dynamically changing, say specials or sales, like a Black Friday sale or something special on a discount or summer specials, whatever it may be. When they're constantly changing, you need to be connected to an actual dynamic database that is going to regularly retrain the AI model and be able to constantly answer correctly and represent your brand correctly across all of these channels, right? Because you're handling thousands of conversations on a weekly or even daily basis for many of our clients. And so that's really what's at play. Then on the front end, we have many intents that we're training with conversational paths, particular to whatever the customer may need in that place to make sure that we're actually training AI agents inside of an AI ecosystem, meaning that a different type of trained AI agent will handle this book a call route. And that's why it's separated up here versus the, the general inquiries and customer service route of just having a conversation with the AI assistant and getting information from all the resources and dynamic databases we've plugged into it. And lastly, we've trained a follow-up call agent that is specifically tailored to understand how to speak to someone if they've already had a call before and they should be checking to confirm it and then taking down the route of having a conversation to get them booked in one more time. And so if I had gone and started asking dozens of questions on either of these routes, they would have pushed me back to start here and started answering my questions again, relaying back to the database and having a conversation with me. And that's really because we've specially custom trained multiple AI agents at one place, allowing us to create this high performing ecosystem. And so I hope that helps. As you can see, it would work here. It works across, <laughs> works across the website, email, 
SMS, and then your social media channels, allowing you to completely answer people and represent your brand properly while driving more sales across every single one of your channels omnidirectionally, fully on autopilot. And of course, there's bigger and larger applications and extensions of this. So it's not just that we have people answering their comments and their DMs off of their ads and a number of different places as well, including Slacks, Discords, and whatever other channels. Uh, really what it is is custom integrations and understanding where your brand needs to communicate with your potential customers. Um, and so I hope that was informative. I hope you get how it works. We'd be happy to walk you through a much more custom tailored demo to what your business needs and make sure that we're a good fit to help you boost your ROI. Uh, so feel free to book a call and we'll walk through that together and we can talk more AI, talk more shop and make sure it's a good fit. But I hope this kind of portrays a really good rundown of what this system is capable of and how far you could potentially take it depending on what your custom use case is. So thanks again for checking it out. And uh, I hope to talk with you soon or at least talk to one of our teammates and we'll walk you through everything. Have a good one.